Krieger, Austrian Ambassador to the Philippines. Honorable Senator Mark Villar, Honorable Secretary Jaime Batista, our very special guest tonight, the Honorable Under Secretary Eduardo Jose de Vega, Madame Luis Pamela Manalo, Honorable Under Secretary Maria Itatan, Honorable Under Secretary Marco Salcedo, Honorable Under Secretary Orlando Tungpalan, Honorable Under Secretary Jerome Olideros, and Honorable Under Secretary Jesri Palmares. Our Dean of the Diplomatic Corps, the Apostolic Nuncio, Most Reverend Charles Brown, Excellencies, Ambassadors, and members of the Diplomatic and Consular Corps, distinguished guests, liebe Landsleute. Very warm welcome to the Austrian National Day 2024. Herzlich willkommen. Maligayan Pakta Ting, Satanbanzan Arau, and Austria, and the Young Tau. It gives me great pleasure. It gives me great pleasure to welcome you all to tonight's reception on the occasion of the Austrian National Day. Now I know that the theme of tonight's celebration is unique and special to all of you. Looking around and seeing all of you dressed to the occasion, I must say, well done Manila. You should give yourselves a really a round of applause. Thank you very much. As you know, the Austrian National Day commemorates the adoption in 1955 of the constitutional law on permanent neutrality of Austria. While global tensions are on the rise and we find ourselves in uncertain times, we must not be discouraged. We have to stand up for our values, and democratic principles have consistently proven to be the strongest international forces for securing peace and prosperity through dialogue, cooperation, and adherence to international law including UNCLOS. Tonight, as we also celebrate 78 years of exceptional diplomatic relations, we see ourselves on the very same page with our friends in the Philippines in upholding these values so dear to us. Austria and the Philippines share a rich history of partnership with over 30,000 Filipinos calling Austria home. End of September, our dear friend, Secretary Hans Kaktak from the Department of Migrant Workers, this is in Austria, and not only opened the Migrant Workers' Office, which is really a big milestone for us, but also attended a ball at Vienna's historic Rathaus, celebrating 50 years of Filipino healthcare excellence and exceptional care, paying tribute to the Filipino nurses and midwives badge of 1974, upholding the highest standards. So Austria is enormously grateful for that. Our business relations, are getting stronger and more diversified with a major investment by HES, the world's largest manufacturer of tennis balls in the Val as the latest edition. In just two years, the company is projected to produce an impressive 14 million dozen tennis balls a year. So that's their biggest factory. What makes this partnership even more special is that the raw materials will be sourced locally from provinces such as Cotabato, Samuanga and the Val de Oro, providing significant opportunities for local producers and suppliers across Mindanao, generating much-needed sustainable jobs. I continue to be amazed by the incredible richness and diversity that the Philippines has to offer. I recently traveled to northern Mindanao, to Iligan City and Marawi City, to launch our Peace Building with Performance Arts Workshop in partnership with the Mindanao State University Iligan Institute of Technology. And I found myself in awe of its breathtaking landscapes, vibrant culture, warmth, and hospitality of the people. The region's unique traditions, culinary delights, and artistic expressions truly reflect the spirit of the Filipino people, and I was privileged to witness firsthand how art and culture can play a transformative role in the peace-building process. And we will continue our work with our partners in the EU and the Philippines on this process and highlight Mindanao's potential and its vital role in the Philippines' future. Now, as you already know from previous years, I've been privileged to be able to tap into a very rich fabric of 
of cultural and artistic cooperation between the Philippines and Austria. So let me start with the recent victory of the Manila Symphony Junior Orchestra, who won first place at the Summa Cum Laude International Youth Music Festival held at the prestigious Musikverein in Vienna. Another significant, yes, yes, please, please. Really significant milestone of this friendship this year. This remarkable achievement not only showcases the exceptional talent of our young musicians, but also highlights the Philippines' growing presence in the global cultural space. Since arriving in 2022 to a beautiful country, most of the Filipinos I have come across with have mentioned two things about Austria. One, yes, the sound of music. And two, another guess? The Vienna Boys Choir. There are many here in the, in the room today who I talked to apparently. I'm fortunate to hail from Salzburg, the filming location of the 1965 movie. And I take pride in my hometown's deep connection with the Filipino community through the sound of music. Not only tourism is booming, and many Filipinos going to Salzburg, but it's evident how strong that bond is, especially seeing you all here tonight. I'm sure you will also be, I will also be hearing many of you singing along to familiar songs that will be presented later by the choir. As you can see, we tried our best to bring the spirit of the sound of music here at Grand Hyatt, showcasing the beauty of Salzburg, the iconic film's location. So please take as many photos as you like and enjoy this evening. Let me take this opportunity to also wholeheartedly thank my dear wife, Roswitha. <coughs> you all know her for coming up with this brilliant idea of organizing tonight's event around the Sound of Music theme. Well done. I'm also thrilled to announce that after almost 10 years, we are bringing back the Vienna Boys Choir to the Philippines. For, for two concerts only in October next year, in partnership with our friends from Ovation Productions. So watch the space. Now that checks two boxes on my Philippine Austrian checklist. But we don't stop there. Together with our dear friends from the Johann Strauss Society of the Philippines, we have already begun laying the groundwork to upgrade the Andrew Strauss concert and bring back the tradition of the Vienna Bowl to the Philippines next year. Supported by the city of Vienna, we will celebrate the 200th anniversary of Jörg Strauss with the conductor from Vienna. As it is tradition in Vienna, the ball will be opened with the Polonaise by young debutants. And I invite you already now to join the fun. Now, when I look around, I saw some young ladies, young gentlemen. We are looking to the age of between 16 and 25, who would qualify for that, but uh, Yes, there are many who have children, grandchildren, who might be interested. Please inform them. The date is June 25th next year, and I'm counting on you, okay? Pianist Ball with an opening polonaise by the young ones. Speaking of celebration, I invite everyone to stay until the end of the program for a chance to win a round trip ticket to Salzburg with Turkish Airlines tonight in our rough and raw. That's a wonderful opportunity to visit the film locations for yourself. And to complete our sound of music journey tonight, we'll be enjoying delectable Austrian dishes prepared with great care by executive chef Mark Hagen and his team in this wonderful hotel under the leadership of general manager Roger Habermacher, who is half Austrian himself. But before we dive into this culinary experience, I would like to express an outward gratitude to our wonderful sponsors, without whom this evening would not have been possible. My thanks go to Turkish Airlines, Boston Home, VFS Global, BDO, BMW, Discovery Hospitality, Triple E Austria, Argumente Balchemy, Rosenbauer, SGB, One World Delhi, IMS Austrian, SM Supermolds, Springtime, Springtime Technologies, Tan Philippines, Medel, Asian Tigers, Malayan Insurance, Royal Group, Arbla, McDonald's, Sea Trace International, Fly Ace, San Constantini Food Specialist, and Red Bull. They all have the one or the other connection with Austria. Thank you very much for your support. To 
conclude, I would also like to thank, take a moment to personally thank my incredible team at the Embassy, as well as my dear wife Rosmita for their hard work in organizing tonight's event. I wish all of you an enjoyable evening, interesting discussions, and many new contacts. Now please join me in the toast. I made a toast to the health of His Excellency President Ferdinand Romualdez Marcos Jr., to the happiness and prosperity of the Filipino and Austrian people, and to continued close and friendly relations between our two nations. Mabuhay, prost, cheers. Thank you, His Excellency, for those warm welcome remarks. What an incredible year it has been.